Hello my Woop friends, let's talk about propellers real quick. As you can see, I own almost every propeller on the market for Whoops today. Up to 2 inch. And I flew all of those propellers with all of my builds. So my experience with propellers is quite high. And when I talk about propellers in this video, I do it out of the perspective of a racing pilot. I'm a racing pilot and I like high power, high KV, high efficiency and that's it. If you are a racing pilot too, I think you can profit a lot from my big experience. And if you are a freestyle pilot, maybe not so much, but maybe also a little bit. I don't want to waste your time any longer, so let's dive into it. Let's start with the pitch of a propeller. The pitch of a propeller is in my opinion the most important thing to choose the right propeller. And in general I can say low pitch propellers are way better for high KV builds than high pitch propellers. The problem is you can't see if a propeller is high pitch or low pitch. Sometimes you can't see it even on the description of uh, the manufacturer. And also it's very hard to see in real life. So basically, basically you have to test it out. And I tested every propeller so I can tell you which one are the good ones. The number of blades on a propeller is also important and in my experience as a racing pilot I can say two bladed propellers are only for crazy lightweight builds, almost impossible lightweight builds and um, three bladed propellers are most of the time the way to go for racing and four bladed propellers sometimes also if they are lightweight and low pitch. If you need more information about propeller basics, advantages and disadvantages of the different propellers, then you can read the video description because I don't want to waste time in this video for the basics because already there are already very good videos about propeller basics on the internet. Uh, it doesn't make sense to cover it here in this video. So let's put the two bladed propellers back where they belong because for me they are not for racing in most cases. Another important thing of a propeller is the surface area of a blade. In my experience you can see the blade of a propeller as a blade of an airplane. And with an airplane if the propeller or if the surface of the wing is small then you have more wing load. And it's the same here on propellers. If the surface is small, you have more disc load or more load on one blade of the propeller. And what that means is this propeller has a very small range of efficient use. This black propeller, for example, is also a two inch propeller and also very lightweight, but it has a bigger surface area and both propellers are um, low pitch propellers but this one has a bigger surface area and this means it has a much bigger range of efficient use. It is much easier to handle to build a whoop with this propeller as with this propeller here, the green one. This one is only for crazy lightweight builds. So in general I can say I 
like propellers with a big surface area, much more. Let's move on to my favorite 2 inch propellers. The upper ones are the more lightweight ones, but they are of course not as durable as the propellers down here. You can find the names of those propellers in the video description. My favorites for the flying feeling are these two propellers and my favorites for efficiency is this one and for durability it is also this one and this one. Let's move on to my favorite 40 mm propellers for 75 mm whoops. This one here you can find the names of the propellers in the video description is my absolute favorite 40 mm propeller. It's, it is not the most durable but it is low pitch, very lightweight and very efficient. It's a, an absolute crazy propeller and I absolutely love it. And the second one is a little bit heavier but also low pitch and also a very good propeller. And the third one is this one. This propeller is very good for lightweight builds. It is also a low pitch propeller. And the last one is this one. This propeller is for a little bit heavier builds. And it is very efficient and also a very good propeller. It is not as low pitch as the other ones. Let's talk real quick about why low pitch propellers are so important for racing with high power, high KV racing whoops. In my opinion, they only have advantages over the high pitch propellers. They are more efficient, lower response, lower response time, better mechanical throttle resolution, um, better it's easier to do a good pit tune, less prop wash, so only less noise also, less noise. So they are, in my opinion, the way to go for high KV, high power racing whoops. And in the 65 mm whoop racing world, you can go straight to the newest propellers, in my opinion, to the Chenvan Ultralight propeller, the newest one, or the HQ Prop, the newest one, three blade propellers. I think they are the way to go these days and there are some other good propellers like for example this HQ prop I, I do like, like them too or uh, these ones here but in general you can go straight to the newest and the lightest propellers in the 31 millimeters class. Something to keep in mind my friends, whoop propellers do not have the same height of the propeller tips, so sometimes you can run into problems. Not every combination of whoop frame and propeller is possible. Keep this in mind when you choose a propeller or so you don't get frustrated. So now I'm tired my friends. I gonna end this video here. I hope it has some value for some of you. And as always you can ask me everything in the comments. Be sure you read the video description. 
because in my videos the video description is always a part of the video and the most information or value is most of the time in the video description. I wish you happy flying my friends, goodbye and I see you in the next video.